Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to, honestly I'm really sick and I was debating filming and I want to keep the momentum going because I've been really getting videos out and that's been awesome. I'm a little bit sick or I have allergies or something is happening. Um, so bear with me, but with that being said, I wanted to do a more like chill video. Um, where I can honestly just sit on the floor in my Britney tea and just chill. Like I don't want to do makeup or do a whole thing, um, you know, like on camera. So I figured, you know, what can I do? I can do February favorites. I can do something like chatty. Um, and then something that I search a lot is what's in my bag. I don't know why. I guess I'm like super creepy and nosy and I want to know what people have in their bag, I guess. I like watching house tours and stuff like that too. So today we are doing what's in my bag. Um, I need to Google what style bag this is before I start. Hold please while I Google. This is it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I don't know. I had to Google the style of this bag. So the bag I have today is ugh, the Marc Jacobs. Um, it looks like this. I don't know if you can see the writing on there. It says like Marc Jacobs, New York with an address. <laughs> um, it is called the Marc Jacobs East West Safiano Leather Tote Bag. Um, they make it in a lot of colors. I got white. I love white bags. Okay, the reason. <laughs> a lot of people don't get white bags because they're like, how am I going to keep it clean? Things like that. Honestly, I'm really messy. I spill everything. Um, I'm like really bad about being just gross and messy. Um, and this is fine because it's not, first of all, it's not like a stark white. It's like a cream. Secondly, it's like this kind of vinyl material so you can wipe stuff right off. It's like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not, I wouldn't buy like, ugh. I wouldn't buy a cloth white purse or bag for that reason. Um, just because I would destroy it. So what I would say if you want a white bag, I love them. Make sure it's like leather or like, you know, some kind of material that you can wipe off. Also, the Magic Eraser is amazing for not only white bags, but like white shoes, like anything you have to buff things out of. Um, so I don't have a problem with it um, when I buy white bags. I like, well, first of all, I live in Florida, so I can get away with things better than like other parts of the country, like a white bag in winter. Yeah, I can do it. But what I like about this one, I don't know if you can see the like piping on here is black all around the purse, um, which makes it, in my opinion, a little bit more transitional and a little bit more like sporty. So I've even used this bag when I'm just wearing like, you know, like a cute version of like gym clothes or that kind of thing. Um, so that is that. I think I own three or four white bags. I just really like them. Um, maybe I could do a video on like my bag collection and you know why I pick certain things and what I would pair them with. That would be cool. So this might take a while because I'm one of those like I put everything in here. It's pretty heavy. So we'll just get right into it. I hope this is uh, something people want to see. I like videos like this, so we'll find out. Um, first thing, obviously, in my bag is my phone. Um, I just want to talk about <laughs> my dog, Bentley. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the phone case. I get a lot of questions on it. It was $6 on Amazon. Um, I will link it below. I've had it for over a year. It will not break. It's like the best phone case I've ever had. So that is that. Um, next up, we've got a smart water. Um, I'm really bad about drinking water, I'll be honest. So I've been trying to like just throw like a bottled water or something in my bag just 
you know, so if I see it, hopefully I'll drink it. I don't know. I'm really bad at hydrating, I guess. Um, what is this? A bag of tea. I always tend to throw, like, tea bags in my purse. Um, just so I have that option, like, if I'm at work or out and about or, like, I don't know, getting my oil changed and I have to wait. Tea bag, like, honestly, it's come in handy a lot. This one is the Rishi tea. I believe this one, it doesn't say on here. But yeah, it does. Turmeric ginger. I like to get, like, lemon ginger, turmeric ginger, things like that. Um, what else? Okay, keys, obviously. But I have two sets of keys, which is not my favorite. Um, trying to make sure my extensions remain blended. Okay, so two sets of keys. My house, where I live, it's like freaking Fort Knox to get in here. You have to have like all these keys and a pass and all whatever. So that's the whole thing. Um, and then car keys. So I drive a Jeep Wrangler four-door hardtop Smoky Mountain 2017. Um, I have thought about doing like a car tour or something. So if anyone would want to see that. Um, sorry, my boyfriend texts me, George, there he is, or Jorge, if you will. Um, anyways, yeah, so if you would want to see a car tour, I think they're pretty cool if you're, like, into cars, and plus what people keep in their cars is kind of weird. Um, so let me know about that, but yeah, these are my car keys. I have some old house keys on here. My friend Corinne went to Paris and got me this little Eiffel Tower. And I have my perk card. So I have Petco, Pet Smarts, and CBS. So that's fascinating. Um, we have my Disney World Pass. Um, I live in Orlando, so I have the Disney Parks Pass. Just, you know, it's fun to go. Families in town or like. My boyfriend and I will go for a few hours, that kind of thing. Um, my wallet. Um, this one's just the Michael Kors, like, logo wallet, um, cards and that kind of thing. So, um, I don't really care about wallets. I know some people, like, buy, like, higher-end wallets. For me, it's in my bag. So, that's my wallet. I've had it for, like, four years or something. Um, next I have sunglasses. I always carry usually like two, sometimes even three sunglasses in my purse. Um, I like to have options. I don't like to be in a situation where I don't have the ones I want to wear or like, especially like I said, living in Florida, if I'm at the beach or something, there are certain glasses I don't want to wear at the beach. You know, like these ones are higher end. Um, they're Moschino. I know some people say Moschino, it's Moschino. Um, this is what they look like. So I like to have a black kind of sporty every day. Um, this is them, I'll link below this style. Um, you can put them on because it's so bright. Here I am. Um, I like the black like kind of shield sunglasses for every day. But again, I'm not going to, well, I'm going to try not to wear my higher ends, like, to the beach and stuff. Just because, like, you have a really high probability of scratching your glasses and that kind of thing. Um, so that is that. Another pair of glasses. These are from Key Australia. I also could do a video on that. I have, like, 12 of their glasses. Um, these they don't make anymore. They are Santa Fe. Um, it was an old festival collection. Um, I love the mirrored sunglasses and I love the key sunglasses. Honestly, they change it up a lot. They have something for everyone. Um, and they're like not so pricey that if something happened, I would like be so devastated and upset. So for me, they're like a nice like middle of the road um, kind of glasses. I have a phone charger. Um, I I don't know why. I just always like have one in a bag. Um, so that got some Tylenol. I try to avoid taking any medicine, but 
it's the worst when you're like trapped somewhere and you have cramps or a headache or like in some way shape or form you're dying so I like to have that um okay so cosmetic case this is a good day because there are only a few like floaters in there everything in here by the end of the week will be like like everywhere in the purse so anyways I got the case at forever 21 I don't spend a lot of money on the cosmetic bags because eventually they will be destroyed um, this was like five bucks forever 21 marble I enjoy the marble I used to like way too much I'm calming down a bit so we'll go through this as quickly as I can and I'm sorry if I'm trying to grow my hair out so like if you see weird pieces of this like shorter weave sticking out just bear with me a few more months so in here we have I always bring a perfume um, these are great they're from Urban Outfitters I think it's the gourmand collection I don't know they have a ton of different um, I almost said flavors a ton of different scents this one is pistachio brulee I have like the macaroon rose one they're cheap they're like 18 bucks or something and I think Kim Kardashian talked about these at some point um, and brought them kind of some attention but they're great for like on the go because whatever I throw in my bag I don't want it to be something that I'm gonna really miss and I hate travel size because honestly they run out and then when I go to get it it's like almost out so this is the perfect kind of size for me to have so that ugh. we have a flowers in your hair by Hendrix salt by Hendrix this one I think also is Urban Outfitters or Anthropology. Um, it's a little hair or face mist. Um, I like it for hydration. If I look dry, I'm extremely dry, like my skin, my hair, my whole life. Um, it's just nice to have, and especially getting into the warmer months down here. Um, it's nice to like kind of just refresh. So I have that. Um, it's scrunchy. I try to wear scrunchies more than hair ties, obviously, because the breakage. Um, I have a small CEO cream by Sunday Riley. Like I said, very dry, and most days I don't wear a lot of makeup, just SPF, so I like to bring a moisturizer because sometimes I get dry. Um, Glossier, bomb.com, rose flavor. I'm the kind of person that always has to have some, <laughs> always has to have something on my lips boom nailed it um always I'm like really weird I can't feel like dry at all so I have like a thousand different lip balms but that one's in here also from Glossier we've got their stretch concealer I like this I know a lot of people don't I do and I, it's really good for just like on the go um, so that's in there and then what else really quickly we have um, ColourPop this one is 951 it's the ultra satin lip by Sarah Karen someone here on YouTube um, I love ColourPop love 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 I can do a whole different video on that um, but yes 951 is like the best color ever so I have that also ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Neat Freak. I think this one is the Makeup by Shayla collection, I think. I do not like matte lips. Like, it's extremely rare you'll see me with a matte. I like the Ultra Satin or like the Velvet Finish, but I'm like a gloss girl. Always have been, always will be. I prefer lip gloss like 100%, which, um brings me to Glossier, just their lip gloss. If you like a glossy lip, this is amazing. So I have that guy. Um, and then <laughs> I just said how much I hate matte lips. I've been <laughs> ultra matte um, from ColourPop. I always like to have a deep color in case I'm like out and about or something. Um, and I want to like switch it up or I make like what is going on? Oh wait. 
always like to have like a darker kind of color um, just in case a plan changes or I have to like do something different really quick. I don't know. That's never really happened. So I don't know. Um, Glossier Boy Brow Brown B NYX Ultra HD Concealer. Mine's in four. Um, doesn't hurt. Like if you see the trend and what I have here, I mean, it would be to create like very like I'm alive kind of look very quickly. Um, and then for pencils, I just have two drugstore lip liners. We have Rimmel London. This one is an Epic. Um, and this one is, ugh, what is on there? An Essence liner, uh, 06 Satin Moth. Um, and then... I don't use makeup forever anymore because I switched over to only cruelty free lines but this is the remainder the black eye pencil from them so okay Ugh, my voice is like giving out so we're almost to the end what else do we have let's just see the receipts and get those out of the way two receipts Z gallery and top golf I'm surprised it's not worse. I normally have like so many like receipts everywhere. Um, hair tie, hair clip, a sunglass cleaner that has never been used, my UCF ID from back in the day, and Sephora VIB. Cool. We got some little floaters down here. All right, let's see what we got. We've got eye drops. Um, I love having eye drops on the go. Like, you get makeup in your eye, you get something in your eye, you just look like shit overall. It really helps. Um, Glossier Cake uh, Lipstick. NYX Lip Liner in Natural. And ColourPop. Um, this is the Lipstick in Quickie. It's a nude. It's actually really good. I like that one. I love ColourPop. I'm going to do a video on ColourPop. I could go on all day. Okay, last two things. Um, gum Extra. This is my flavor. This is my jam right here. I'm going to have some right now. Mm-hmm. Right there. And last but not least, AirPods. I don't know why it is gum. Now I can't talk. You chew it up. I think I'm sitting directly where the dog peed last night. Okay, and AirPods, last but not least, guys are both in there. This would be an investment that is worth your money. So, it's 150 I think. I personally think for something like electronic or like techie, that's really not that bad. I use them way more than I thought I would. I use it like whenever I'm on the phone. I always have one in, in the gym. At work, I always have one in listening to like a podcast or something. Um, so yeah, those are really worth your while. If I did a favorites video, they would have been in that. I don't really like favorites. I feel like when I compile enough shit that I really like, I'll just do a video, title it shit I really like. So I hope that was fun for you guys to watch. I like watching stuff like that, so I figure, you know, I'll just start filming stuff that I personally would want to watch, and I felt like shit today. <laughs> so I thought it would be easy for me to sit on my floor and go through my bag, and that way I have to organize everything to put it back in. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you guys want to see things I mentioned, like doing a car tour. Um, I just moved, so I did a lot of, like, interior type stuff so I could do a house tour. 
I want to do a video on ColourPop. So let me know if anything I said sounds good or like, yeah, do that. Um, that is it. I'll see you guys next time.